Hello everybody, welcome to my mid-month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aries, for Moon, Sun, and Rising uh, in regards to your love life. If you guys are interested in private consultations, look at the description box below uh, so you can find my contact information on there. So let's get into your reading, Aries. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys. For the mid-month of September going into the beginning of August. So I'm going to be pulling out uh, four cards for you and four cards for uh, the person that you're with. It could be the person that you're currently with or the person that's coming into your life uh, for both um, singles and for those of you guys that are coupled. Okay. Oh, okay. Endings. There's definitely endings here. Okay, general energy, the sun. So again, um, the previous uh, reading for Aries, love was on its way for sure. And again, um, it's coming off very, let me grab these cards. Okay. So the sun card definitely represents blessings. This could represent blessings that you're not aware of or circumstances that correlate bringing you to the person that's right for you when it comes to love and relationships. This can also be a promise for a long-term commitment or a long-term relationship, okay? Monogamy, uh, again, like I said, uh, long-term, etc. So I already pulled out your cards. I'm going to be pulling out the cards for your partner. Oops, wrong card. And I will be pulling out the general, the current situation. Spirit, what is the cards to you? Into September. September. Okay, and it is the Six of Wands. Wow. Okay. So the Eight of Cups is definitely talking about uh, someone moved on. This could be a representation of you, or it could be the representation of a person that you were dealing with, a past, a past lover, or a past person that was with you in a relationship. Okay. So based on that, uh, you're moving forward and moving forward towards a new relationship or the beginning stages of a relationship for those of you guys that are seri uh, single at the present time. It can also represent uh, moving forward through strife and difficulties that you have currently been going to for those of you guys that are coupled, uh, perhaps a little bit of miscommunication or misunderstanding. The Eight of Cups can also represent moving. Uh, like it could be a representation of moving forward. It could be a representation of moving to a new home. Uh, for those of you guys that are currently trying to uh, get your own house, your own home, uh, this is definitely a promise for that. And because initially the sun did come out, again, it's blessings that you're not expecting. Now, the cards that are symbolizing you, Aries, you have the Ten of Swords here. The Ten of Swords is definitely talking about endings. There's an ending of a cycle here for you guys. Uh, for those of you guys that are currently single and have been single for a while, again, like the beginning of the reading for September, uh, the ending of that cycle is definitely coming to an end. It's finally concluding. And what this represents is bringing you new beginnings. Now, you do have here the Ace of Swords. Eight of Swords is obviously new beginnings. Uh, so it's like right after the ending, there is a new person that is going to be coming into your life. This could be a representation of an air sign. An air sign would be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Or it could just be a representation of the energies of this person. And this person is definitely, because they're coming towards you, it's a person that is very honest, very upfront, and very blunt. Uh, a little bit intimidating for some of you Aries, because I know that although you guys uh, have the purest of hearts, and that's the reason why sometimes you guys say things without thinking, because uh, you guys do tend to be very blunt, um, sometimes there is a, a thin line between keeping things and over with excitement, um, I guess when you're telling a story, when you're telling a truth, you tend to either suppress it or you tend to overdo it, meaning sometimes you uh, see things more than what they really are. So with this Ace of Pent, sorry, with this Ace of Swords, there's definitely uh, this person that's coming towards you. It's a very honest person, very to the point. But for some of you guys, this could be a representation of a little bit of intimidation because they have a very strong temper. 
which is definitely to me on a personal level, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, you know, sometimes a lot of the times when we deal with people that are a little bit more sharp uh, when it comes to their temper or when it comes to their attitudes, it's always a good thing because they are very straightforward to what they want and what they expect from you. That way you don't waste your time and you don't waste their time. So that's definitely a good thing. Now you do have the three of cups here. The three of cups definitely talking about uh, feeling very joyous, very playful. Perhaps this person is bringing to you uh, sturdiness, uh, structure, someone that's very goal oriented, and you're bringing to them uh, that playfulness, that innocence, that uh, daringness of, you know, kind of taking them out of their own uh, shell, basically, and exposing them to liberate themselves or be a little bit more free. Again, like I said, with the Ace of Swords, there's definitely a certainness behind this. Uh, maybe it's the type of person that comes off as a little bit more aloof, maybe uh, even a little bit more, what's the word I'm thinking of? Uh, they can come off as rigid is what I'm hearing. But again, they have a very strong sense of humor, uh, very uh, sarcastic in a way. And with this Three of Cups, there's definitely a feeling of jo joyousness, playfulness, um, even teasing each other very, very highly. Now, for some of you guys, um, it could be a person that you guys were dealing with in the past that recently came up in your in your present, and now you're trying to, you know, get to know them on a deeper level. There is the Four of Swords here, so either you or this person uh, may be away from you, or you may be away from them. It could be a long distance type of thing going on at the present time. And again, it has to do, uh, perhaps for some, has to do with business wise. Um, has to do with responsibilities, etc. cetera. Uh, but there is, with that, with that distance, I feel that for some of you guys, it's going to bring about a closeness uh, or understanding that you guys similarly connect on a deeper level. Now, the current situation is the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is feeling victorious, feeling like you've accomplished something, or it could be you returning from wherever you are, or it could be them returning from wherever it is that they are. So what this represents, it could be that you guys, for example, may be in the same city, but one or the other is actually maybe vacationing, maybe visiting relatives, etc. And they're finally returning by the middle of the month. Uh, sorry, by the end of the month, going into the beginning of October. Now, how this person sees you is the Empress card. So the Empress card is a very loving, a very nurturing, very compassionate type of energy. And this is how they're seeing you, excuse me, this is how they're going into the middle of the month. So it could be a person that is very structured, a person that actually has um, very creative outlets of expressing themselves, anything that has to do through evoking of emotion. So it could be a writer, it could be um, it could be a person that deals with a lot of like, uh, with the public, it could be a person that gets a lot of attention. Uh, the Empress is all about abundance, um, but it also has to do with a lot of charisma. So perhaps this person that you're dealing with has a lot of charisma, and almost, okay, almost to the point where you may feel like they, there might be some loss of interest on their part with you, uh, but it's more because you are a little bit intimidated by the fact that perhaps this person gets a lot of attention, which is not a bad thing because they have the Nine of Cups, and this is how they're seeing you. The Nine of Cups is definitely a wish fulfillment card, but it can also represent the reciprocation of emotional feelings or mutual feelings or both wanting to put the same effort into this relationship, okay? So that's definitely a good thing. Now, the Five of Pentacles here could be a representation of an earth sign. Uh, you may be dealing with a water sign as well. So water sign would be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, and uh, the Pentacles could be a representation of an earth sign. So it could be a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo as well. Now, the Five of Cups definitely represents a person that has been hurt in the past or has dealt with a lot of emotional baggage from the past, but they've learned uh, through this because they do have the four of wands here. And it's right after the five of pentacles. So it's through hardships and difficulties in their life that they've experienced. They have become much more mature, much more wiser, and much more stable. There is definitely a promise for a long-term relationship here, but I feel that for you guys at the present time, there is a need to release the past. There is a need to not give the opportunity for someone from the past to come back into your life or understand and it's like the universe telling you there's an ending but there's also i'm promising you a new beginning 
but with that new beginning, I can't offer you that unless you're able to release the past. So what that means is if there's any type of communication with the past lover, uh, past partner, um, the Ace of Swords is definitely telling you be very honest and be very frank when it comes to this, this new person that you're dealing with. Uh, because again, the rigidity, the, the very sturdiness, it's a person that doesn't mess around. It's a person that's very upfront, very honest, and very blunt. To the point where the moment they start to feel or sense a little bit of bullshit, they have no problem walking away. So be very careful when it comes to that. And again, the Four of Swords definitely talks about uh, the release of communication. So again, try the best you can not to resist the change of the ending of a cycle to be able to <clears throat> heal your emotional your emotional wounds and be able to move forward into this new beginning, okay? Now, for some of you guys, for those of you guys that are currently in a relationship, um, what this represents is there is an ending to a, to difficulty situations. Now, there's a Three of Cups. The Three of Cups could be a representation of you currently thinking that your partner may be dealing with a third-party type of energy, but the Ace of Swords is definitely here to tell you that it's all mental, that you need to see things very clearly and concisely. If they're lacking emotion, if they're lacking connection or physical connection with you, you need to start questioning yourself why they're doing that instead of reflecting on them your insecurities and judging them that they're doing it out of spite or that they're doing it to hurt you or whatever it is. Use this time to really analyze and go within yourself. Is it you in reality who has detached yourself from the situation or the relationship? Is it you that very quickly are able to reflect, again, like I said, insecurities to them instead of facing your own insecurities and dealing with, you know what, some of us do have issues or problems uh, being emotionally vulnerable and perhaps this is something that's going or having to do with you again the ace of swords is definitely having clarity and coming to the understanding or the conclusion of that of seeing things on a very clear perspective with a very clear mind again the six of wands definitely represents uh, promising new beginnings but also uh, feeling victorious or feeling like you've actually overcome difficult uh, circumstances when it comes to your relationship or family and household now, for them, with the uh, the Empress card and the Nine of uh, Cups, this could be very promising. It could very highly represent, uh, if you guys are not trying to have kids, definitely take care of yourself because there is very, very high probability that she or, or you know, if you're dealing with a female, that she will be getting pregnant uh, because the Empress and the Nine of Cups is the nine-month card. So, again... There's definitely, for some of you guys, congratulations if you guys are recently finding out that your partner has been moody, has been doing, uh, seeming a little bit cold offish or not really knowing what's going on, and that you realize that they're actually pregnant. So again, congratulate, congratulations to you guys. Um, the Five of Cups here definitely represents um, being left out in the cold or feeling like they've been left out in the cold. But finally, things are going to get better. Things are going to stabilize and be uh be able to be on the same page with one another okay so it's definitely a beautiful reading again i hope you guys enjoyed this reading comment like share my videos and if you haven't subscribed to my channel definitely subscribe we'll see from each other at the beginning of the month okay bye